Computing a 2x2 two two determinant is pretty easy. I'm going to assume you already know that. I want to show you how to compute a 3x3 three three determinant. Now, this is a little more complicated, so the first thing I have to do is talk about the minor of an element. So when we look at this determinant, all of these numbers are called elements of the determinant. The minor of the element 6, this element, is the determinant that we get when we cross out the row and the column that 6 is, is uh, sitting in. So the resulting determinant is 1, negative 1, 5, 3. Okay, and that determinant is 3 minus negative 5, which is 8. So the minor of element 6 is 8. Now, we can do that for any other element that we have here. We can do it for 10. We, again, we cross out the row and the column that 10 is in, and that creates a determinant always a 2 by 2, right, when you're starting with a 3 by 3. And the minor of this one is going to be 2, negative 1, negative 4, 3. And we get 6 minus 4, or 2. So this process of finding, of calculating the minors of a 3 by 3 determinant is vital to actually calculating a 3 by 3 determinant. This is how it's done. You pick a row. I'll start by doing the first row. And you calculate the minors associated with each value in that row. So say 6 times the minor associated with 6, which is 1, negative 1, 5, 3, this determinant. And then 10 times the minor associated with 10 is 2, negative 1, negative 4, 3. And then finally, the last one in this row, this top row, negative 5 times. And then the minor associated with negative 5 would be this guy, 2, 1, negative 4, 5. Now, very important, the signs. When you calculate uh, a determinant, you have to alternate signs. The first one, corresponding with this entry here, is going to be positive then negative, then positive. So you have to put a minus sign here and a plus sign here. That's very important. So positive, negative, positive. And then it's 6 times this determinant. We already calculated that to be 8. Minus 10 times this determinant, which we already calculated to be 2. Uh, plus negative 5 is negative 5 times. And now this determinant is 10 minus negative 4. 10 plus 4, 14. OK, so let's see what we get here. We've got 48 minus 20 minus 70. So that's 48 minus 90, negative 42. So the, the 3 by 3 determinant is negative 42. Again, the process is basically, I started with the top row, and I took each of these values, 6, 10, negative 5, and I found its minor. Right? This is the minor for 6. And I add them up only. I use opposite signs. I start with a, with a plus, then I go minus, then I go plus. And I'll give some more specifics in a future lesson about how you do that when you um, expand along a row other than the first row.